And did they ever compete? Brian Windhorst is in London. He joins us now. Brian, I didn't think we'd be talking about the U.S. needing a dramatic comeback to beat South Sudan, but here we are. Where should our level of concern be for Team USA? Well, there's a fine line between being tested and being beaten, as anybody will tell you. Um, whether or not this test will help them, I guess we'll have to see. They have had some really impressive victories on this tour. They have shown that they really have a very powerful team, and they've shown that they can lose focus. And they blew a big lead to Australia and got in a little bit of a danger zone there. And obviously, they were right on the verge of what would have been a historic loss uh, here tonight. They did execute down the stretch. They did find a lineup that was very effective. Steve Kerr wasn't afraid to change we had on the court. He wasn't afraid to draw up a play for LeBron James to go get them a vital basket to win the game. They were able to get a stop at the end. Those things do have some value for a team that's been together for less than three weeks. But it was fair to say that their focus is a little bit worrisome, especially in a setting where they only have 40 minutes. These 40-minute games are, are not very forgiving, and they, they got away with it tonight. I don't know if they're going to get away with it, you know, in two weeks when they're playing in the knockout round. Lastly, Brian, I want to ask you this in as open a way as possible. What's at stake for LeBron, Steph Curry, Kevin Durant, Steve Kerr in these Olympics? Yeah, I think this is a nuanced situation. I'm not sure any of those guys are going to be able to win another NBA title. I can't see the future, but you wouldn't say the Warriors, the Suns, or the Lakers were anything close to favorites at this point. They may not be able to do it. They're coming here and going through this, even though they've all got gold medals, because they want to win another championship. And it's not an NBA season, but it's meaningful. And this is going to be the biggest, most competitive international basketball tournament ever staged. The talent in this tournament, we've never seen that. They're trying to win it. It matters to them. If they lose, do I think it changes their Hall of Fame case? No, I do not. I think their legacies are all secure. But they're really working hard to try to win this. And I'll tell you, if you watch this game, or even if you just watch the highlights, LeBron James didn't want to lose. He may buy the rights to the South Sudan story to make a movie about it someday, <laughs> but he didn't want to be on the, you know, in that movie as a guy who lost. And in and, and the way he played and the way he made the game-winning basket, you could see it. We'll see if there's a Hollywood ending in store for Team USA, who takes on Germany on Monday. And then it's the Olympics and the opener in group play against Nikola Jokic and Serbia in eight days. Brian Windhorst, buckle up, Bri. And this incredibly close call convinced Vegas to make some changes. Team USA entered the day minus 600 favorites to take the gold in Paris. That's now dropped to minus 375. For South Sudan, the odds to win gold went from 1,000 to 1 down to 100 to 1.